In this lecture, we will see how we can calculate the area of continuous time signals. Our main aim is to understand the calculation of average value of continuous time signals and for this calculation of area is important. So let's begin the explanation. Let's say there is a continuous time signal xt and you want to calculate the area of signal xt. Then area of signal xt is simply the integration of signal xt with respect to time t from minus infinity to infinity. But what if signal xt does not exist from minus infinity to infinity but it exists only between some interval. Let's say signal xt exists between t1 and t2 and when t is less than t1 this implies signal xt is equal to 0 and when t is greater than t2 this implies signal xt is equal to 0. So there is no need to integrate signal xt from minus infinity to infinity but we will integrate it from t1 to t2. So in this case area of signal xt over the range t1 to t2 is equal to integration of signal xt with respect to t from t1 to t2. So these are the two formulas to calculate the area of continuous time signals and now we will try to understand from where we obtained this result. These two results we will try to understand from where we obtain and for this I will take one example. In this example there is a signal xt and the waveform of signal xt is like this and we are required to calculate the area of signal xt from t1 to t2. This is t1 this is t2 and we can calculate it if we can select a very small rectangle a very small rectangle like this and the area of this rectangle we can easily calculate the width of this rectangle the width of this rectangle is very small dt and the height of this rectangle is equal to xt as the area of rectangle is very small the height is equal to xt okay and we already know how to find out the area of rectangle it is length into breadth or you can say height into width it is equal to xt multiplied with dt so this is the area of this small rectangle and we can divide the whole area from t1 to t2 into n number of different rectangles and the summation of the areas of these rectangles will give us the total area between t1 to t2 and we already know the summation of infinitely small areas is the integration so the total area I will represent it by a is equal to integration from t1 to t2 xt dt so from here we obtained the two formulas and now we will see one example to understand it in much better way in this example in this example there is a waveform of signal x1t given this is the waveform of signal x1t from minus 2 to 0 signal x1t is having this waveform and from 0 to 2 signal x1t is having this waveform and when t is greater than 2 x1t is equal to 0 and when t is less than minus 2 then also x1t is equal to 0 so we will use our second formula you can integrate from minus 2 to 2 signal x1t dt and in this way you will have the area but in this particular case there is no need to perform the calculations because you can see this area is same as this area here and this area is above the x-axis and this area is below the x-axis so this area if I say is a then this area will be minus a 
so the total area the total area will be a plus minus a and it is equal to 0 so in this particular case the area is equal to 0 and why it is 0 you can understand when you obtain this area a the area a is nothing but the area of this triangle and we already know the area of triangle is half base into altitude the base is equal to 2 from 0 to minus 2 the interval is 2 and the altitude is let's say equal to 1 this height here is equal to 1 and this height here is equal to minus 1 altitude is equal to 1 so the area is going to be 1 unit and here in this case the area is half base base is again equal to 2 into altitude the altitude this time is equal to minus 1 not plus 1 so we have minus 1 and the area is minus 1 so 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0 so whenever you have the waveform like this there is no need to perform the calculation you don't require to perform the integration you can directly write down the area is equal to 0 and if you see this function or signal x1t you will find it is odd signal we have already studied the odd signals and you can see this is an odd signal because left hand side of this signal is mirror image of mirror image of the right hand side or we can say the signal is anti-symmetric about the y-axis so this is all for this example now let's move to the example number two in this example we will take another signal and I will call this signal x2t we will take the next signal and this is the waveform of the signal x2t origin from minus 2 to 2 the signal exists and from 2 to infinity the signal x2t is 0 and from minus infinity to minus 2 signal x2t is equal to 0 and this point here is equal to 4 now we can calculate the area using our formula the area a is equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity signal xt dt or we can write integration from minus infinity to minus 2 signal xt dt plus integration from minus 2 to 2 signal xt dt plus integration from 2 to infinity signal xt dt so this integration is same as this integration from minus infinity to infinity but signal xt is equal to 0 from minus infinity to minus 2 so this integration will produce the result equal to 0 and this integration we will solve the signal xt is not equal to 0 from minus 2 to 2 in this case also signal xt is equal to 0 so the integration will be 0 so we need to integrate the signal xt from minus 2 to 2 to have the final result and you can see from minus 2 to 0 signal x2t is having the waveform like this it is a straight line having the positive slope here the signal is x2t so make this correction and from 0 to 2 signal is again straight line but having the negative slope so we will integrate from minus 2 to 0 signal x2t and from 0 to 2 signal x2t now it is your task to find out the equation of signal x2t from minus 2 to 0 it is the straight line and you already know how to obtain the equation of straight line I will write down the equation directly 2t plus 4 is the signal x2t from minus 2 to 0 and minus 2t plus 4 is the signal x2t from 0 to 2 so we will put these values in the integration from minus 2 to 0 signal is 2t plus 4 and from 0 to 2 signal is minus 2t plus 4 now perform the integration and you will get the answer equal to 8 so 8 is the answer and you can cross check your answer by using the formula for the area of triangle half base into altitude the base is equal to 4 
from minus 2 to 2 the base is equal to 4 and the altitude is also equal to 4 so we have 8 as the final area which is same as the area we have obtained using the integration so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section